According to Henley Rodriguez's mother, she suffers from schizophrenia or psychosis. Now, back in October, uh, her mother says that she was experiencing some sort of paranoid episode. They actually called the police to get Henley some help. During that encounter with police, her mother says Henley actually bit the police officer. Now, this, of course, caused officers to arrest her, take her in, and charge her with a felony. Now, a Hayes County judge did drop that felony charge to a misdemeanor, but here's the issue. With misdemeanors and felonies alike, it is far more likely for one's DACA status to be revoked, and it's for that reason and some misplaced paperwork that we don't know the exact standing of Henley's DACA status while she is in Pearsall in ICE custody. And you really should not be criminalizing people for mental health issues. Rodriguez's detention is legal according to state law, but these folks making phone calls to their representatives demanding her immediate release say it's unethical to detain someone who's mentally ill. On their side is Representative Lloyd Doggett, who released a statement that reads in part, quote, I do not believe that ICE is equipped to provide her the mental health treatment which she requires, and deporting her will certainly not help her get any treatment. She doesn't need detention she needs treatment to get well. Don't say my daddy to my daddy to Mexico, please. Rodriguez's next court date is September 5th. For Capital Tonight, Catherine Gacy.